Hey guys, it's Jamie from No Getting Off This Train, and today I'm going to make Mexican lasagna to put in my freezer. So this Mexican lasagna recipe is the fourth recipe in my 25 days of freezer meal series. If you want to see the other recipes, you can find a link to it in the description below. So John and I love Mexican food. We try to include it at least once a week, whether it's burritos, tacos, nachos, like make your own burrito bowl, whatever. If it's Mexican, we'll eat it. Now the problem with some of these casseroles that I've seen is that they take forever. So you have to cook all the ground beef, chop up an onion if that's what you like, and then you put everything together and then bake it for another 45 minutes. I mean, it takes forever. I would like to have something that would take maybe 30 minutes to cook total. I've got a six-year-old daughter who's got an hour to cook. But what if you could make this casserole ahead of time and put it in your freezer? That way, all you have to do is take it out the night before and put it in your oven. And then 45 minutes later, you've got an amazing dinner ready to eat. That's what I did just now with this Mexican lasagna. And the great thing about it is that you can add any kind of ingredients that you want. Whether it's black beans or corn or any other kind of vegetable that you like to add in it, it'll work just fine. So let me show you how it's made. In a large pan, add one pound of ground beef and one teaspoon of salt and cook until the beef is completely browned. If there is any grease in the pan, you can drain it at this time. Next, add one packet of taco seasoning and a half cup of water and cook it for a couple of minutes until the taco seasoning is blended in. Once that's finished, add two cups of salsa and one can of refried beans. You can either use a can or two cups of homemade will equal one can. At this point, you can also add a can of black beans or a can of corn. Once that's finished, just stir it all up until it's cooked. In a 9 by 13 pan, spray cooking spray and then add half the can of tomato sauce and spread it around the bottom. You'll start to layer everything now, so start with two flour tortillas, making sure it's covering as much of the pan as possible. Then add a half of the meat mixture and spread it across. On top of that, sprinkle one cup of shredded cheese. I use freshly grated cheddar, but you can use any kind you like. On top of that, add two more flour tortillas. And then add the rest of the meat mixture. Add one more cup of shredded cheese and then top with the last two tortillas. Pour over the last of the tomato sauce and spread it over the tortillas. Then add the last two cups of shredded cheese. When the casserole is completely cooled, you can add aluminum foil over top. With a permanent marker, you can write down the name, the date that you froze it, and the cooking instructions. Once it's frozen, you can thaw it overnight in the fridge and bake it at 350 for 45 minutes. So different 
side items that you could make to go with this lasagna would be like rice, tortilla chips, any kind of roasted veggie, I think would all go pretty well with it. If you would like a printable recipe for this, you can find a link in the description below. Make sure you check out the rest of the recipes in my 25 days of freezer meals as well. And also make sure you subscribe to my channel for any future updates regarding more recipes, any grocery hauls, and other meal planning tips. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later.